Hey guys, welcome to part three of my uh, above ground pool installation series uh, here at Three Days Way. Um, appreciate you guys stopping by and checking it out. So um, my last part two was grinding down a uh, maple, Japanese maple tree stump. Uh, it was the first time I've ever used a stump grinder. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool getting used some power tools. Pretty awesome. But now we're on to uh, part three. So we had some really good contractors that are known for uh, preparing surfaces for uh, jacuzzis and uh, backyard kitchens and things like that. And uh, I was able to get them uh, to work for me kind of off the books for a few days. And they graded out a really awesome area, about 21, 22 foot round. Uh, they compacted some road base uh, and they laid some sand. I think they did a really good job. I think all I need to do is just double check the uh, the transit uh, laser level and uh, make sure that all those blocks are indeed level to each other and then um, right now I just wanted to show you really quick one of the concerns I had and, and Sassy had as well and the dogs really like to hear you hey get out of here Go. Go. okay so the area um, I don't know if you could tell but this round area is kind of, kind of sitting below some of the grade of the backyard here. And so what I'm doing is putting in some landscaping drainage. I'm using these three inch PVC uh, corrugated uh, pipes. Um, they're rated for being underground. The, the high point of my backyard is basically near this drain here. Um, you know, I get a lot of water that comes off the house um, and uh, my, messy backyard here by the way there's my uh my uh generator quiet box enclosure here in case you wonder where i store it but i get a lot of water falling off the house here onto this gravel uh it flows back here and then of course makes its way down through the yard used to go across the grass a little bit and then out the back gate into the alley there's a drain drainage uh thing in the alley and um so i don't want that torrent of water when it does rain here it rains hard uh i don't want it filling up that pool basin there which really is kind of sitting slightly below the uh the overall grade here just slightly it is compacted base but what i'm going to do here is uh i'm uh connecting the downspout to this three inch uh pipe here i'm also going to add a above ground uh collection area right here in this uh rocky area near my patio that also collects a lot of rainwater. Um, and then it kind of grades slightly downhill a little bit. I know it's hard to see. It appears like maybe the the terrain comes up here, but that's just the road base. I, I trench down and then I'm gonna use a pop-up kind of valve uh, down at the other end. Okay, besides uh, connecting to the downspout, I'm gonna use one of these little uh, removable grate uh, downspouts and I'm going to be putting it probably between a couple of these sunken pavers I have in here uh, once this, I've cleaned all this up again this is kind of a natural little highway of water uh, and that's why I've designed it like this I know it's messy it's hard to see but these rocks here kind of prevent the erosion the, uh, the pavers are uh, set well into uh, black dirt so kind of level just below grade I'm gonna kind of put it in between maybe a couple of them right there like that more or less and kind of um, put some rock around it maybe some uh, weed barrier and uh, kind of kind of work it that way um, I'm hoping that will catch a lot of the runoff from the side of the house uh, and then of course the downspout I'm gonna put a little Y right here and it's gonna shoot on down that way and um, add another little collection doodad because I don't know what they're called uh, right in there probably right there or something like that uh, and then I'm going to bring it down here connect it to that and then continue on down okay basically where the uh, water is going to come out here um, I'm going to be using one of these now the water pressure makes this pop up from underneath see that and um when it closes you know dogs and 
things, people can accidentally step on it, not break it. It's pretty heavy duty. Um, and uh, But the water pressure from all that head pressure coming downhill from the top of my yard will uh, that'll pop up and burble out. And I'm gonna kind of put it like that, more or less. Um, obviously uh, connected to my three inch with an offshoot there. Um, they'll be surrounded by some uh, hardscaping uh, for the erosion and stuff. And it'll just go on down uh, the, uh, this is my back uh, driveway here into the alley. And that'll just go into the alley and, and drain out uh, like all the other rainwater does. Um, it also might be an interesting place to uh, drain the pool. Um, I could put a another branch going off in this direction. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about putting a nice French drain through here uh, and then just having it burble up on its own here. But I could also put a fitting here and drain the pool through it. Um, so I've thought about that uh, or not. Anyway, that's the plan. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, after uh, oh, a good part of the day, I think I roughed it in. Um, actually, I did more than rough it in. I actually glued it all up. Um, I'm definitely not a plumber, and I've never plumbed irrigation anything before. Maybe drippers. That's about it. Um, let me show you what I uh, ended up with. And I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. Okay, right here we got our uh, downspout going into some three inch but I also decided to do a little surface mounted grate screws there so I could take off that top grate and uh, flush it out if I had to so there's a good little overview of it I got this area here that's a little jungle here where the uh, corner of our house kind of meets up there and there's a little drain there for, and um, a lot of rock in here and um, so I plumbed this here, and eventually I'm going to extend this flex board around and then just kind of level out the rock and slope it toward this little drain here. Maybe put a little rounded piece of concrete right there to catch it. Um, but that'll just plumb right into the main line again and continue going. Right here I plumbed a little 45 and it just keeps going. Now. I thought about putting a little riser drain down here into the pool basin, um, which I'm gonna eventually fill up with rounded river rock. Um, you know, it has sand under here. Uh, I'll show you guys that uh, when we get ready to install the pool. Um, but I, I went ahead and just decided not to do it on this particular uh, job, um, basically because I just got tired from digging trenches. And also I don't wanna disturb this area here um, by digging a trench and knocking stuff stuff out of kilter so be another day but uh, on this side of the pool basin is my brick wall um, and you can see the rock is kind of sloped up toward the wall because uh, it used to come down to my lawn which was right about here on over and you can see there where all that water comes from when it rains and it's, it kind of just ends up sloping down this way and the rain's probably gonna end up trying to get up here, which I don't want it to. So I'm gonna end up probably putting a French drain around this area here, uh, or at least recontouring that area um, and sloping it down toward the gate. And let me show you how the gate ended up. Got that little pop-up valve that uh, will stay closed and then when it gets water pressure um, it'll just pop open and um, drain out on the ground underneath the gate and into the alley so um, I'm definitely gonna do something here in this area here once I backfill it um, maybe uh, circle it with pavers and try to slope it uh, back out the gate there um, so anyway that's it all I got to do now is just backfill it with some of the dirt so i appreciate you guys watching and uh be sure to subscribe and uh, tell me what you think any suggestions you might have and uh part four hopefully we'll be actually installing the pool 
So be watching for that video and we'll see you again soon.